we're back in the Unimogs. I know I kind of dabble on these and I don't seem to show them for a while. But this is one of my 406s and we're about to do a bunch of stuff to it. So, I'll show you what I'm up to. So, this was used to plow uh, the town of Vail, Colorado actually, before it was incorporated. I have several plows for it. I sold the snow blowers. I sold a bunch of the parts or the attachments, but this is a really nice Unimog. It's got a spreader on the back. The back of it I took off when I moved just to fit more stuff on the truck because I could park the nose of the next vehicle under it on the trailer. Um, so I have that, but it sets better when it's out and out there. This spreader, it's been patched. It's kind of worn through. It's not in that great a shape. Um, it does have a nice chain in it though. And the hopper itself isn't bad. It's got some neat valving back here. And this gearbox is kind of cool. So it's got a hydraulic motor. It comes down and there's a sprocket on the shaft that runs, this chain's pretty locked up, but that goes over and there's a spinner that goes up here that has the plate that spins to chuck the uh, sand or whatever you're putting in there. And then it also has this gearbox here, which turns and runs the chain. So that might be pretty cool for something. Let me know if you're interested in a sander for Unimog. I still have two, I had three. I sold one of them to a guy who, uh, actually using it to spread fertilizer for crops. Um, but my impression on these is that people with the Unimogs probably don't want to put salt or sand in the back of them. So this will probably become something else unless someone wants it. Leave me comments. Let me know if you're interested. It works. I can prove it working. And if there's interest, I was going to take the, uh, the press brake and make some new lower sections here. Because these are just worn through. It was running cinders. Volcanic cinders are uh, really abrasive. So open that up and then ended up with some rust. But other than this, these bottom pieces, which you can see it's just a profile. Just a couple of bends. I'll just make a couple of those in the press brake maybe I want some the sander. Otherwise, it's got a cool frame that mounts on nice. And neat gearbox and stuff. Maybe I'd use it for fire wood processor or something. But we're going to take that off. I'm going to try to run it first just to make sure stuff works. It did work when I had it. I haven't run it in a couple of years, the sander itself. I've been driving this thing around with this thing on the back, and believe it or not, you can't see it sticks out. It kind of stinks. So that's coming off. The cab, it's looking kind of dingy. It's kind of depressing, honestly. Got like junk on it. It needs to wash. So I'm going to take the, the spreader off, and then we're going to give it a good wash. And... Go through some other stuff. I need to get, I need a new tail light lens. This got hooked when I was moving. Tire chain on a tractor actually slid sideways, cracked the lens. The uh, rest of the light's fine. So I'll see if I, I can get a lens for that, I think. I have a PTO centralizer on here. That kind of goes to the three point hitch setup I've got. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty nice under here. Everything works, backing plates are there. I mean, they're well maintained, they're nice Unimogs. Um, and these are Colorado, I'm the second owner. Now, in the cab, my headliner is a disaster. So, let me know if you think this is a terrible idea, but my plan is to take the headliner out. I've got some new black vinyl, and I'm just going to put new vinyl on it, because this is old crispy vinyl that's falling down, and it's not even all there, and it's really annoying trying to drive with that. So I was going to take that down, put some new vinyl up there. The door cards, see the vinyl's half missing. These come out and it's warm right now. It's actually quite hot, so I should be able to take all these. I think these are kind of like a Christmas tree plug. If you've done body or uh, clips on vehicles, you know what I'm talking about. So I'll take these door cards off and uh, we'll stick some new vinyl on there. I'll have to take these handles off. And then the seats. Passenger seat's real nice. I'll uh, probably shampoo that. Driver's seat's kind of cracked up. The other Unimog, which there's two over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Not the orange one, but the yellow one. That's another one I need to get washed up and going real soon. You can get to it from the other side. It's not just buried in a junk pile. If you go around my barn, that, you can pull that right out. Uh, that one's got a good driver's seat and a bad passenger seat. So I was thinking of taking the good driver's seat from that set and the good passenger seat from this set, since they're the same vehicle and swap them out just so I have a nice set of seats 
And that one will have door cards, headliner, the dash just needs uh, some armor all. It's not cracked, it's pretty nice. I did have a problem with the set throttle on here. Um, the handle, the weld between the, uh, the yoke and the handle broke, so I need to re-weld that and put this back together. And that'll be good. And then I need to suss out a bunch of this wiring here has been added in for uh, the spreader and extra lights and that sort of stuff. So I need to figure out what's needed, what's not, take that out. This is a snowblower control cable. It's for the uh, control box. I can get around the seat belt, which so you can see I use a lot based on the fact it's jammed behind the seat. It's original though. It's the, I think that's probably a DIN connector. Um, I sold the uh, snowblower this goes with, so I need to take this out. It just goes through the firewall, through a stock hole. I don't think that really actually screws with anything. It comes right up here to this plug. So I'll take that off. I promise that to the guy I sold the snowblower to. I don't have a use for it. So we'll take that off. We'll polish this thing up. And it's got some, some dings. This looks like someone was sloppy with an ice scraper. I'm going to start by washing and waxing and just see how it looks. I'm not sure it's going to be as shiny as I want, but uh, I'm going to start there and I'll probably wet sand a couple of these little spots and see how it looks and then uh, if I need to I'm going to repaint it. I will probably spray some fresh black on the bed. It's not rusty, it's just kind of a little bit worn. Uh, the steps could use a little freshening up. So I'll go through and uh, I'm going to clean it and then I'll freshen up the black and we'll just try to make it real nice and then this one's going to be up for sale. Um, I'm probably going to redo one of the plows for it. They need some odds and ends. I have all the parts, so I think I'll probably put a plow together. If you're interested, these are low miles and low hours, and I'm the second owner. I've had the most of this collector item. As you can see, it's only got 13,000 miles on it, an hour meter. You can go look at it. It doesn't have that many, but it runs like a top. It's a wonderful machine. I just, uh, I don't need three of them. I always thought I did, but... I don't know. Don't seem to need three of them. So let's start this baby up and see if I can get the spreader spinning.
much nicer. All the space on the deck. Can't believe it. So let's look what we got left here. I'm pretty amazed. I've never taken uh, the sander off of here. But look how nice it is without it. These quick connects went real well. This hose is even fine. So that's cool. Uh, but you can see it's got the lower deck for the case. And uh, these chains Right off. Just throw those with the sander, the spreader. So you got your boats have these really nice tie-down points on, which is kind of cool. But way tighter, way nicer little truck. I had to unplug a couple wires. These little connectors here were for the, uh, the lights back there and actuating the valve on the spreader itself. Um, I'm probably just gonna take all this homemade wiring off. But next stuff we're gonna do. Oh, look at all this space. You can walk around up here. We're gonna go and clean this roof. We're gonna clean the whole thing, make it nice again. This light, I think it might come off. It'll be available with it, obviously, but it's really nothing particularly amazing. And the wiring leaves something to be desired. So looks like they pop out down here. But that'll come off. We'll see if these work. I don't know. Next thing's really going to be to clean it. Make it shine again. It's pretty dirty. Haven't gotten a bath in a while. But you can see there's one lifting point. I think you can see it at the far end. And then I ran a strap down here to equalize. It probably balanced better when it had the, the back of the spreader on there, the drop down. It's not super heavy, but it's off the end. But I'll just leave it on the trailer for now. Um, I could roll that out of the way. I don't think I need the trailer for at least a few weeks. But easy way out. So 
So that's off. Time to give this baby a bath. And I have to drive it around. I haven't, haven't really gotten to drive around much without a spreader on there. And it looks like it'll be, well, probably quite a bit more enjoyable. Be able to see what I'm doing. See where you're backing up, see what's behind, tighter. It's gonna be nice. But yeah, it's just been, trees have been dropping leaves on it and it's just dingy. Should polish up nice, but that's the afternoon project. I'm gonna wash it and see how it comes out. I might need to paint it. I'll probably wash and wax just to protect it for the moment. See how everything's going if I have to. I might, I'll probably give this a wet sand. These little paint chips have got a little uh, little bit of rust on a couple of them. That might get a wet sand and then a, a wax or uh, just protect it for now. Figure out if I'm going to repaint it. But uh, yeah, that's pulling that off. Big improvement. I'll show you when it's washed. <laughs> 